All right, I'm Mr. Duncan. Actually, the Duncan is unnecessary. You call me Mr. D. But uh, we call Mr. Dwyer Mr. D. Well, that's going to be confusing then for Mr. Dwyer. Anyway, you're older kids. I understand that. We're really close in age. Not much older, really. So I can relate to a lot of the things. I'm here to help you with any problems, concerns, OK? Anorexia, all right? Maybe some drug problems there. A little low self-esteem, the lip ring, maybe a gender issue. You are a woman. You are a woman. A very handsome, sorry, beautiful, not handsome, beautiful woman. Solve that problem. I see these things. I see these things because I care. Everybody here is from a different background. I like that. I've been to many, many countries, almost all of them, except for a couple hundred. All right? Let's pick a country. Let's see if I've been there. Japan. Been there. Konnichiwa. Okay, let's do another one. Middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Have not been there. Death. Sharks do not want to be there. Okay. How long are these classes? 80 minutes. All right. Six. 74 minutes to go. I'm awesome. No, you're not, dude. Don't lie. I'm awesome. I'm driving around in my mom's ride. I'm awesome. A quarter of my life gone by. I'm awesome. Excuse me. Sorry. Thank you. Hi. Hi. I'm Lisa, I'm new here. Oh, I'm Jerry. I'm not really new, because I've oh. been substituting for a few years, so it's just harder than this regular. Right. Look at that, that is a bunch teacher. Oh. For sure, they're always so <laughs> hot. I teach social studies, you know. <laughs> what, what was that? Nothing. Morning, Nothing. folks, settle, please. Attention, s'il te plaît. Everybody, sit down. People. Hey! Sit down! Yeah. Thank you. Yes, thanks for taking your seats and settling everyone. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Vice Principal Robert Cheeley. And uh, I'm thrilled to be starting another exciting year here at Xavier Academy. And my first task, right on time, is to introduce the Capitan, our fearless leader, our hero. All right, thank you, Robert. I'll take it from here. Uh, just a couple of things I want to go over. First, welcome all the new staff. Question, go ahead. No, I was just, I was waving only. Okay, number two, this week is the parent-teacher meet and greet. I want you all to get your game face on for that. It's my game face. Oh, good. I would like to continue, if I could, by formally introducing the new staff. Jerry Beginning Duncan. Beginning very happy. Thank you. Uh, new to this school, but I have been substituting for years, which is... Uh, actually harder, he says. So I'm part of the social studies department here, but as you can tell, my background is in physical education. Education de physique. Boom! So, my legs are the same. Thanks, Jerry. That's hey. great. But we should probably get on with the meeting. Oh, 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 uh, sorry, Robert. Number three. Our rival, St. Pat's, this year, again, has been rated the number one private school in the city. We can't have this. Now, this is our main rival. This has got to stop. Principal Davis will be rubbing this in my face again and again. It all starts with our sports teams. So Bobby, Bobby. All right, this year, let's kick St. Pat's right in the sack. Yeah, I am on it, right in the sack, sir. You got it. All right, everybody, teach hard. <laughs> I'm gonna teach so hard. See what that phys ed teacher I'm actually a little nervous. No, I don't get nervous. I have a gift of the gab, and teaching's just gabbing the kids, really. I shouldn't be nervous. I have a, a master's in education and a PhD in medieval history, so. Well, I have a master's in people and a PhD in natural ability, so. Those aren't real. Real to me. Running in the hall, Mr. Stratton. Congratulations. You have the honor of being my first detention of the year. I steal for a sec. You're a hard ass, huh? Yeah. Don't run. Speed walk. It was almost in the Olympics for this. You can't get in trouble. Watch. Tell me when to say go. Go. No, wait till I'm ready. Okay, I'm ready. Go. Watch. Look. 
Okay, see that? See, it's all right there, feet on the ground. Whew. See? All right, stretch it out. Hold for 10. Nice. You guys look great. Those are some interesting stretches. Just a warm up, really. Well, they should probably run first, but it's your class, so. Yeah, well, they're training for a half marathon, so I'm limiting the running right now. Half marathon, yeah. I finish my marathons, but that's just me. <laughs> anyway, if you want some help from a fellow phys editor, I am at your beck and call. Actually, you know what? They need someone to coach the five, six girls basketball team. How about that? Done. I will coach anything. Let's do it up. Yeah, just because you can do that doesn't mean you can Watch. coach. Anyway. Hello, Miss Trudy Walsh. Hello, hello. <laughs> I need to make a little announcement. Just a, <laughs> what kind of announcement? Uh, very important one. Seriously. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Judy. All right. Check, check, check. check. What's, What's up, up homies, homies of Xavier, Xavier Academy? Academy? Mr. D in the house. In the school. This is an emergency. Emergency, emergency announcement. announcement. Pay attention. Please stop. Listen, this is an emergency announcement. Today, after school in the gym, there will be a grade five, six girls basketball trial in the school after with me, the coach. I'm the new coach of the team. After, after, after the, today, and right in the gym, right after. After school! Yeah. I'm excited. Oh, thank you. That was some emergency. Was I just hope Principal Callahan didn't hear that. And if he didn't, I might have to tell him. What's gonna cost to keep your silence? Here. This Friday, McGillicuddy's an evening with Sleetwood Mac. Our Fleetwood Mac tribute band, lead vocals. I'll tell you what, you bring a friend, and your secret's safe with me. You know what? I need you to just tell him. Sorry about bothering you. It's a sleeper neck. Bring it in, please. Hello, 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 ladies. Might want to get a strap for those. This is going to be fun. Let me tell you how my tryouts work. You may notice three large cutouts that look distinctly like me. That's because they are me. From when I was in high school, where I played a lot of high school intramural basketball. This is how the tryouts work. If you are not as tall as the first Mr. D, then you, okay, exactly. No, you, unfortunately, I'm sorry. But I gotta cut you. You are not even close to that size, okay? All right, why don't you go down the hall and audition for Annie, okay? Sun will come out tomorrow, okay? Let's give her a hand, she got cut. But she got cut with dignity. So that's good, she handled that well. I'd like to see that. All right, uh, glasses, let me see you up here. My name is Gabby. You're now glasses, because I give everybody nicknames. If I cut you, you can go back to Gabby. Let's see if you're as tall here, please. No, she is not. Oh, tippy toes, good thinking, smart, ambition, desire to make the team. That is awesome. Everybody have a seat, please. All right, I'm gonna show you what I expect from you in the scrimmage. Some of this, a little bit of that, some of this. Okay, I don't have the right shoes on. Bring the right shoes, I forgot mine. You lose the ball. Come on up here, let me see you, please. Stand by this for a sec. Put your hand up. Good, on the team. Call me the captain. You ever played basketball? Doesn't matter. You are on the team. You are now Sasquatch. Come on back up here, glasses. I'm gonna show you a pick. This is what we're gonna use to free up space once we know who our best player is, okay? Run by me. Go ahead, run by me. Okay? That is a pick, all right? I'll give you a hand there. Someone should help her. That's why I need a strap. Give her a hand for participating. We're gonna have fun. How's your first day at school? Pretty amazing, actually. So now you gotta teach every day, eh? That sucks. It's amazing. What are you talking about? Get my own class, and I get to coach. <laughs> what do they got you coaching? Grade five, six girls basketball. Challenging. Wow. Kinda suck right now. Some of the girls are actually worse than you, but we'll have fun, I guess. 
Worse than me. Dude. You can't even do a left-handed layup. I told you I come from the right side on purpose. I don't need to. Yeah, you guys are going to lose every game. Uh, I guess you're okay with that. That's fine. You know what I'm going to do? These are the players I have. Uh, you can recruit better players. Recruit a 12-year-old girl? What, do I just go to some online chat room? Is that what you do? Or you could just go to her school and introduce yourself and call her parents. Nice. Another cooler. Yes, nice. sir. Yeah, there you go, Geraldine. Rock on. Yep. It's Jerry. You know that. Done. <laughs> Done. This is Anne Marie Elementary, huh? I heard a teacher here get stabbed in the leg by a kindergarten kid. There she is. Candace Williams. Best under 13 player in the city. See her? Yeah, I'm going. I'm going! Yeah, yeah I'm going. No! Stay here. Honk if a teacher comes. That's my job? Honk? Double honk if it's the cops. Come here, give me a boost. Give me a boost. I, no, I can't. Hello, little ladies. Just wondering if I could have a minute alone here with your friend. It's okay. Full time teacher. We'll go. 20 bucks. Why don't you just go or else? Okay, 20 bucks. That's fair. Not a bad deal, actually, for something like go. this. Go! Loser. Show me the ball, Candace. That's right, I know your name. How would you like to learn some of this? Want to come to Xavier Academy, play some ball, free ride, coached by moi? Does he teach at your school? Does who teach there? Bill, I told you to stay in the car! Come on! Maybe lose the ball. It would be cool if he taught at your school. Hey! Hey, you! Tell your parents I'm gonna call them. Bill, let's go! Code Red, let's go! You did my job with the hard door! Hurry! Guys! Nice. Come here, I gotta come carry here. Come here. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Put me down. Doug! Heard you've been lurking around Anne Marie Elementary School. Talking to some grade six girls? Yeah, I was actually uh, trying to recruit a Candace, Will Bas Candace Williams basketball. Awesome. Uh, St. Pat's has been trying to get her for two years. Davis will be furious when he finds out we've got her. Oh, that guy drives me nuts. I will personally tell him myself. You should tell who? Principal Davis. Davis. Yes. St. Right. Pat's. Yeah. Pay attention. Okay. Hey, Davis! Guess who's the new number one ranked private school? I cannot wait to make that call! <laughs> okay. Seem a little crazy right now. Huh? I, I don't think I said anything. All right, good. Teach hard. Okay. Renee, sound it out, Renee. Sound it out. Okay. can tell me what caused the renaissance? Okay. Um, yes. a war? A war. What's your name? Jonathan. Jonathan. How many people agree with Jonathan? You can't vote for yourself. Nobody. Yes? I don't think anything caused the renaissance. Okay. That's a theory as well. Nothing caused the renaissance. All right, open your books, write this down, please, for homework. You can't come in here every day, question, question, question. I'm not gonna spoon feed you. You need to do some of this yourself. Look this up tonight for homework. What caused the Renaissance? Please make sure you spell it correctly, as I have done on the board. And if you find nothing caused the Renaissance when you go home tonight, why? Okay, good. Now you can go. Thank you. Potatoes, potato, potato, hanging out the potato. Potato, fry, salt and pepper, that's mine. Do not steal that. That is my little, 
my little shake that I do, okay? Let me know if you see anybody do that, please, seriously, because that's my thing, all right? I don't want anyone doing that, okay? Actually, you know what? I'm checking. Are you hungover? <laughs> no, no, I'm not hungover. Today was way worse than I thought. I mean, I thought that the kids would like the fact that I'm prepared and really wanting oh. to help them learn. I had a seating chart and, and a lesson plan. They hated me. You're too by the book, you're too serious. Relax, have fun, loosen up a little bit. See what I did when that kid walked by? That's kind of stuff you do, right? They love that. That, that's, that's who I am, I'm teachery. You know, I, I, mean, I don't know what else to be other than structured and organized. Try not to be yourself. <laughs> Being yourself's not working. Thanks. Trust me. <laughs> Did I do drugs in high school? Not saying. Did I cheat on tests? Many times. Did I steal from other kids' lockers? Never proven. But now... Hi, Mrs. Williams. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hello, Mr. Williams. Seat right up front. No, those seats are taken. Go to the back. Yeah, here you go. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Have a seat. Okay. You said something about a scholarship. Yes, the wheels are in motion. So just sit back and relax and listen. And you will see why Candace should be at Xavier Academy, okay? Okay. Oh, almost forgot. Ta-da. Thank you. No problem. Okay. I am Mr. Duncan. That's not what your kids call me, though. Mr. D, because it's easier to say. Mr. Duncan doesn't seem hard. Not for you, but what about our immigrant students? Mr. Duncan? Very easy. Okay, what about the really, really immigrant students, like people that speak the click language? Mr. D. What are our kids going to learn? Excellent question. Besides Marcel and Celine, who can name the other two Dion quintuplets? This guy can. We'll learn about that. We'll learn about our above ground railroad, the Via Rail. Remember when that was put in? We'll also learn about the underground railroad, okay, our subway system. Pretty amazing, huh? Principal would now like to meet you. Uh, I'm afraid, Mr. Duncan, we're going to keep Candace in her current school. What? We're going to give her a scholarship. We want our daughter to learn. And as far as we can tell, you seem to place a lot of emphasis on sports and less on academics. <laughs> they don't think I'm smart. Go ahead, grill me. Ask me some questions. Excuse me? Anything. Go ahead, academic. Ask me. Um, who was the first man on the moon? Louis Armstrong. Lance Armstrong. I correct myself. That counts. Next. Who was the first U.S. president? Pass. Next question. Oh, I don't this do this. Silly, Mr. Man. Duncan. Oh. Good luck with the team. Yeah, you don't get the basket. That's right. Jerry! Where's my little all-star? I'm gonna call Davis right now. Sir, no cell phones in school. We didn't get her, sir. She's going to St. Pat's. What? I'm just kidding. So, um, she's going to stay where she's at. Why? What happened? I don't know. The parents, they came in and then they listened and then they quizzed me and I, I don't know what happened so fast. Disappointing, Duncan. Very disappointing. Well, now you've made him angry. You even hit the rim. Stop spinning, Gabby. Don't dance. Why would you dance? Oh, hey, Jerry. Oh, <laughs> I had the most amazing night tonight with the parents. I gave them my yearly plan, and they love the famous quotations I put up on the wall. I got famous quotes, too. Blame yourself. We're all really alone. <laughs> wow. I just lost the best basketball player in the city. And now I'm left with a cute little ballerina. We are not gonna win a game. She is cute. Okay, well, maybe you can try and have a little bit more fun with it. 
not be so serious and hey hey maybe maybe you can just try and not be yourself you know maybe that'll work because yourself's not working <laughs> trust me <laughs> nice play I'm gonna go help her thanks no problem <laughs> and never give up ever that's you're saying Use the backboard glasses. Okay, forget that. Let's play a game called Princess. Your job is to get the princess to the castle, okay? And it's a Chinese princess, how's that? But there's also a mean dragon, also Chinese, played by me. But you're not Chinese. Yeah, but that's just the game. That's just the way the game is. So here we go, you ready? All right, glasses, let's see if you can get by me. Get by me, get by the dragon. Nope. Okay. Uh, she's dead. Don't touch her. She's CPR. Okay. Let's try it again. Okay. Mean dragon. But this dragon's not so mean. This is a nice dragon. It's gonna lift the princess up. There you go. I did it. Yes. 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 Yeah, but I helped you though. I can't lift you during a game. Come here, Gabby. I have to go now, sir. Okay. I see you got a strap. See you at practice tomorrow, sir. See a strap. That's your new nickname, Strap. Got something for you, okay? Sing. Sing Dan Philo to my Sun Li Philo. I don't know, I don't speak Chinese. Okay. What does that mean? Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. But it's not either of them. Yeah, but it's coming, so. Potato? I really have to go now. Bye, but sir. First you can potato. It takes two seconds for fries and joes. I can still cut you. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You're back. Here. Here, prayer. Next. Wow. Really admire your dedication and focus and flexibility. Uh, sorry. I'll... Little Mosque on the Prairie premieres next on CBC. CBC. Canada lives here. Jerryd.com. An all-new episode of Little Mosque on the Prairie starts now.